It is week number two for the brand new Rough Riders League. Doing a little in-betweener wiener league here for, uh, we're just waiting for AMS. So Finney put this league together. This is uh, week number two. It involves the rough car, and we're here at beautiful Watkins Glen. It's a standing start, 25 minutes, and guess what? Damage is off. Here we go. Good luck, racers. Okay. It's a pretty fun series. Go! Green, green, green. Nice. Hey, get off of me. He's got his ugly Christmas sweater on. Whoa, he's coming in hot. Left side. Keep to the right. Woo! People feel a little brave with that damage turned off, huh? Keep to the right. Clear. Left side. Got to lift if you're going too wide. Hold your line. Yeah, this car is such a throwback, man, to eye racing back in the day. Still there, hold your line. Clear on the left. You got it. Uh oh, uh oh, uh -oh. no! Christmas sweater, no! Oh, save it. Go left, no. Oh, no! Oh, I was free and clear! I was free and clear, no! I got tagged. <laughs> oh, we're good. Okay, we're fine. I did have my oh, fine. I got a little bit of brain damage there. <laughs> We're good. We're fine, guys. Okay. All in a day's work. Now there's the damage is turned off. No damage in this league. Dude, I almost made it through that. Oh, I was so close. Like 14 pixels more to the left, that would have been fine. <laughs> Look at this gaggle. <laughs> that was a really violent wreck I was involved in. Coming through. You're on the left. Three oh my one. god. Clear. That guy shot that gap so hard, dude. <laughs> that was incredible from Mike Nickham. Unbelievable. Never seen anything like it. <laughs> wow. I remember this car came out, everyone's like, this car's stupid, it looks like a passenger vehicle, the dashboard and the steering wheel. This isn't a real race car. That was one of the things we used to talk about. I only care about how it drives. That's pretty good. It's got some character. We're in 21st place, not bad. dramatic vehicle. Alright, Mike, I'm coming back for revenge here. GSI rim, first week of December, or thereabouts. Should be good to go. It's like the steward of cars. Look what I can do! 
Yeah, yeah, it's like understeery on entry and oversteery on exit sometimes. Kind of all over the place. Go all the way. Go left. Car right. Still there. Hold your line. Clear. Car stop on the left. It's a fun car. It's very rewarding. Oh, it's Eric. Hey, you're that dude from YouTube. I am. I'm Matt Malone. Right side. Still there. Yeah, the brakes work really good. I gotta get more confident with them. Still there. How's this Clear confident for brakes? Right get in there! Clear on the oh, right. he's spinning! Go right. Look out! Car on. Still yeah, you better on back off. Right. Clear on the right. <laughs> Oh, don't touch me. Oh, he's spinning. Mike, no. Mini yes. Got him. Thanks, Pat. Wow, yeah. Long time YouTube viewer. Actually, don't get to see you much on Twitch. Eh. Got a full time job, but. Look at I'm slicing and dicing, baby. Clear. Yep, here I am. <laughs> uh oh. Oh no. I gotta save it. I was just avoiding that wreck, that's all. Perfect. No, Eric, no! Got a lot of rubber under me. I really like to work that wheel. Come with Dad? You know it. No incident totals here. Just run it, baby. All right, Eric, what are you going to do? What are you thinking here, bud? You're not thinking about passing me, are you? You're crazy. He's going to push me. Smart man. Nice pass, Chuck. Man, I really felt like a fluke. Look at that boost he gave me. Oh, gotta get Edgar. Really driving aggressively for fun. See what the car can do. Oh, there we go. Right side. Yeah, you want a little, you want a little bump? Keep to the left. Clear on the right. Cast off the head. Cast off on the right. Hey, right hey, I'm driving uh, it. Sorry, Malone. Tried to get it slowed up. Funny enough, I suffered no damage from that. <laughs> <laughs> I think I was a little too hard on the brakes there. All right, we're fine, we're fine. This is the roof track car. You know, you buy this car, you get four cars, it's all in one. And none of them have official series. Well, I guess this car does have an official series, or it used to, I don't know. Car's fine. 
Any pit stops? No. Climbing and crawling our way back. We gotta get a top 10. How much time we got? 15 minutes? Easy. Pick him off. Coming for you, Sanchinelli. See? You just float it, baby. Just float it. I'm sure that was way faster. I almost nailed that perfect. You don't gotta worry about getting underbody damage or anything. Why would you do that? You could pull a Ross Chastain on this track somewhere, maybe. Considering there's no damage, you'd ride the wall. Sounds like a real racing name, you know? Chuck Labano. Is this official? It's a league race. It's, and so, no, it's just for fun. It's just all of us in a league. Just having fun. Uh oh! Where you going, buddy? Stay on the right. Clear. My fault, my fault, sorry, sorry. Clear on the left. Oh, there's someone coming. Oh. Oh, I was trying the in and out. I was trying the in and out. It is like a beer league. Yeah. Kind of like a beer league. I was trying the in and out. I mean, I did that on my wife a couple times, and we got two kids, so. Figured it worked on the racetrack. Wait, what happened to you, Scott? <laughs> I was never going to catch Arrow, and I'm trying to not be terrible in this, so I've waited. I want to race you. Nice, yeah, Scotty. Nice guy. What a sweetheart. Hey, yo. He just want to learn how to get punted. <laughs> yeah, can everyone wait up for me? Uh, be nice. Yeah. That's right, Tap Dog. Uh, one. Nothing, dude. <laughs> rough riders, huh? Yeah, it's pretty rough. Oh, we got Mike. Wait, 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 wait. Again. Mike's behind me. Four fresh tires away from pulling that one off. Yeah, I just ran out of road, really. Ran out of road and ran out of rubber. <laughs> That's also why I have two kids. <laughs> ran out of road and ran out of rubbers. <laughs> oh, man. 
You should start throwing yellow flags in this shit, dude. Like, 15 minutes in, throw a yellow flag. And then we would pace around until the end of the race. It takes forever in road courses to... Do a yellow flag. Our drunk marshal. Well, we're, we're pretty serious when it comes to the American Muscle Series, the Mustang League that we do, but... They said we're kind of in between seasons, so he just kind of threw this together for fun, you know? You're supposed to blow off a little steam, you know? Not supposed to be so serious, so... That's why there's a lot of wrecking. Well, and it's a car we don't all drive, you know? I, I had, like, no, ex no track time on this car for a long time, wrong. so... It drives a little funky. On your left. Clear on the left. Overtake. Something different. I'm sure people get sick of GT3 all the time, you know? Seems like whenever I'm scrolling around on, like, YouTube or Twitch, it's all I see is people driving GT3. It's like... I know it's fun and competitive, but... You got a slow car on the left. I Not bet I do. Uh-oh, ugly ahead. sweater time. No! Go oh, back up. <laughs> I almost got run over by an ugly sweater. Mustang stuff, yeah, it's fun. Yeah, we've done three seasons of Mustangs. The fourth season starts in January. Ugly sweaters can lead to ugly situations. Yeah. You ever heard of bumping uglies? That's where it comes from. People wearing ugly Christmas sweaters. And they bump into each other and boom, they're pregnant. That's how it happens. You thought storks were the reason for children. Right side, Chuck. Oh, wait. Good. You knocked your wheels out of alignment. I'm gonna get a whole new crew chief. This guy is obviously doesn't know what he's talking about. Go ahead, Dustin. I will you. Bumpin' Uglies is how holiday fruitcake is made. Never really got into a fruitcake. It was never really a thing in my family, thank God. What's up, baby? Ooh, big hit into the wall behind me there. <laughs> Thanks, Jeff. How are we gonna make this cake healthier? Hey, let's put fruit in it. Oh, okay. Oh, now it's healthy. Can you believe that's not an off track all the way out there like I was? Jason just gotta, gotta, gotta get second place, right? Primal? He's trying. Fruit cakes were just something I saw kids hating on TV. Yeah, it was never like a real world thing. I. I don't know where they exist. Is fruit cake like fruit salad? No, fruit salad is good. And it's refreshing. And you have it like in the uh, summer. Because it's just a big bowl of mixed up fruit. Chopped up into bite sized little bitties. You just shove them in your face. Hot summer day. And get a little piece of watermelon, maybe some mango. Strawberry for sure. And you, you get a real prankster going, he puts a little celery in there, really ruins your day. Nothing worse than that. 
Yeah, fruitcake is a cake. Well, it's not really cake. Like every corner, well, yeah, I guess it's like a cake like. Corner, I'm either it's a cake like bread substance. No one between. Filled with a bunch of fruit. So then you're like eating oh. bread. Or like fluffy cakey substances, and then like bite into a piece of fruit. Oh, that last lap I'm going to go with yogurt. Yeah, it's more like a really yeah. weird, dense, like, bread. Yeah, a cakey bread. Don't know who just spun in the carousel. But I mean, like I think I've had some months. before, yeah, but it was that. never, like, a thing. I think one of my aunts, like, had it. Like, you, you know, you go over to your families for Christmas or Thanksgiving or whatever, and, like, it's on the table. And you're like, oh, what's this? I don't know. I've eaten everything else. Let's try this. Shh, put it in my fat mouth, you know? I've already eaten three pounds of turkey and seven pounds of mashed potatoes. What's... What's the piece of this? I don't even know what it is. I'm just gonna eat it. It's here. Yeah. You know, like, ugh, this isn't very good. Sorry, Chuck. I was trying to go over it because I figured you would be doing white. The fruit salad. No, that's good. Yeah, I had a 50-50 shot. Panatone? Never heard of it. I chose poorly. Thanksgiving's gonna be good this year. I can feel it. Oh, it's gonna be great. You know, the last couple of Thanksgivings, or like three, four Thanksgivings ago, I started trying the uh, cranberry sauce, you know? Because I don't know how high class your family is, but my family would buy that shit in a can. And they would always just set it out. And like one old uncle would be like, oh yeah, give me some of that cranberry. It's like in a, it's like a gelatin disc. It's like, what the fuck are you doing with that, old man? And he just liked it. And then one year, I'm like, you know what, I'm going to try it. It's good, dude. And then one time, Samantha's family made the actual cranberry. It's like a, it's like a Jello cranberry saucy stuff. And dude, you put that on your turkey. It's gonna be your best Thanksgiving ever. It's just really good. It's like putting jelly on your food. <laughs> it's like, how do we make this turkey more sugary? <laughs> Let's put cranberry jam on it. No, it's actually really good. Yeah, put it on your turkey, because, you know, the turkey's always dry. Even the dark meat is kind of dry, you know? That's why they have gravy. But, like, try the cranberry stuff. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going to... I'm Dude, I'm going to have, like, half a turkey on this side of my mustache. Some uh, sweet potatoes on the left side of the mustache. And just be chilling, watching football. Just... Tasting that flavor saver, you know? The old, the old, the old womb broom's gonna be full with a three-course meal. <laughs> you going back for seconds, Blown? No, I'm good. I'm good. I got a three-courser right here, right in the stash. I don't, I want to miss it. We're back from halftime. I don't want to miss the game. I got, I got, I got a piece of ham stuck in there. Just pass the car. Oh, it was, it was Tom. It was went golfing. Tom, uh, are you okay? Should I call someone? I think it was him. Maybe not. The old womb broom. Yeah, somebody said that in chat when I first started. I was listening to your turkey story. <laughs> it got a little out of hand. <laughs> oh, I'm with crash. Yeah, I'm pretty pumped for Thanksgiving. My favorite non-religious holiday of the year, by far, 100%. It's just, it's it's got better food than Christmas, and there's no pressure because of the presents. The whole presents thing really screws up Christmas, if you ask me. It should all just be about the food. That's what. That's why Thanksgiving's so great. Man. All about the food. I went crashing. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out, uh, this is a real lollygag and just chatting it up race, I guess, but so for the Malone family Christmas, there's like 40 or 50 of us and it's really hard to get together and then like everyone has to make food and it, it's tough, right? And sometimes we, we get, uh, one of my family members they can get uh, a free space in the church, basically. They have a church that has, you know, like, a lot of churches have, like, a big kitchen and, like, a big meeting area that's, you know, it's just like a cafeteria, basically. 
but there's so many of us we have to find a place like that and they can get it with and we just throw like a couple dollars in for a donation like they're not really asking for much but then everyone my family's kind of old school so then everybody makes for whatever reason lasagna so they there's like 17 freaking lasagnas all this salad nobody everyone's bringing like a dish to pass it never works there's like so much food left over it's crazy dude and all these old women, you know, are complaining like, oh, yeah, yeah, where's this and where's that? Oh, I got to use the oven. Oh, where's it? And it's just like a complete disaster, you know? And in the end, it's just we're eating lasagna. It's like not even that great, you know? So I'm thinking, well, why the hell are we not catering this, right? My mom's like, oh, because people don't want to pay the money, you know? I'm like, how much can it possibly be? So I did the math. You can get a bunch of masta choli, a bunch of salad, like, like a normal meal. Like, it's not even crazy. Like, masta choli, salad, and... Oh, oh, the main dish would be pulled pork sandwiches. And it would come out, even if there's only 40 people, enough food, it comes out to like $7 a person. You think that's too much or normal? <laughs> All right, white flag, let's get this sucker. Would you pay seven dollars just to show up and have food and then just leave besides making a whole lasagna yourself it's crazy so i'm gonna be floating that idea out eric no yeah you'd probably spend more making it yeah and all the stress oh, i gotta get this nice i'm coming for you roger Flag overtake. Hold it together, Malone. Use the draft. <laughs> oh. I'm a turtle. Place. Not flag, too bad. Bring it back to the team. Way going. This guy's looking to get hurt. <laughs> get off the map. <laughs> you knocked your wheels out of alignment. <laughs> oh, that felt good. Oh, there he is. I'll help you. Oh, there you go. You're fine now. Okay, that was a that was a real doozy. Good race, everybody. See you next okay, week. we gotta see the start of this thing of me almost getting through it, dude. Okay, if there's like three feet of net code, I'm gonna be so pissed, dude, because it was such a legit escape route. I had a real legit escape route here. Let's see how it goes. Like I just sent it. Yeah, he slowed down enough. Though. Coming out of the bus stop, right? Now it all went down. Because I know there's no damage. So it, it changes, it changes the way you drive. Like, like I knew I hit this guy. And this would be like major damage. Boom. Like, 
So I'm like, I'm good, I'm good. Ride the wall. I don't care. Ride the wall. Okay, we're good. And then I get tagged. Oh. Oh. How did this all start here? Yeah, let's see. Who were the culprits? I want their names. It was probably Dustin Alice. Yeah, here he goes. A little rainbow flag going. Oh, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, that's what... Yeah, they're right there. Dustin Alice. This guy... Listen... We've had major issues with this Dustin guy, okay? And I think it's, I mean, this is just proof. This is proof that this guy is toxic. Look, he almost hits me. This guy is toxic. He does not belong in our league. He's, I mean, look. Look at him taking people out. This is unbelievable. How is this guy even able to race? guy needs to grab about a pint of cranberry sauce and ride into the distance okay by himself never to return he's been banished from the from the tribe uh, I'm just kidding we love Dustin what are we looking at yeah we'll see if it comes up in the uh, turkey timeline he's a turkey but he's my turkey yeah. <laughs> I don't remember three wide there's a lot of three wide how do you get into this league um, I'm sure you could join this one. This one's just for fun. Um, contact uh, Finny McFinger. I don't know. He was in the chat earlier. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Finny McFinger on Twitch. Just send him a message. That's a first time chat. Okay, wait from Wave Pump. Can we see the three wide pass that red and black car made? I don't remember. <laughs> oh, you've been lurking? Okay, good, good. It was right after the wreck when Nickums shot the gap like a meteor. Oh, yeah. That was pretty early on, wasn't it? Oh, I know what you're talking about is on the. F oh, here's freaking Dustin Alice screwing more people's races up. <laughs> it was right after. Um, is that is on the final? It was on the final corner. Oh, is this it right here? Oh, here it is. I found it. Sweet. This too, right? Oh, get on, kids. Oops. Too far back. Oh, I put the slide job on him. Oh, he's going to hit me, dude. Looks like he hit me. That's pretty awesome. Good pass. Well, I willingly gave up second for a better race, finished fourth, but got DQ'd after the finish for going backwards to flip Finney back over. Oh, well, you know, <laughs> that escalated quickly. <laughs> oh, man, that's funny. Uh, well, it's just for fun, yeah, so whatever you got to do to have fun, it's all good. I was having fun. Found it pretty quick, huh, Wave Punk? Yeah, that's years of experience. My memory served me better. Dude, you could totally demolish that bus stop in this car and not worry about anything, dude. You just launch over it. It was incredible. Next week on How the Rough Turns. Yeah. Oh, great. Dustin again. Thousand issues. I think everybody was getting airborne there. And then that's why a lot of them were spinning out on the exit because they're just going way too fast. <laughs> or if you get the curb will throw you for a loop. 
Oh, this is the gaggle. Oh, the three wide. Oh! Oh, man. He was the meat. And he got tossed out in the trash. He's got a Devil's Rejects paint scheme. <laughs> Who is this character? David Moore! <laughs> X-Wolf, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, man, this is great. The Devil's Rejects. That is not... Not exactly a family movie. <laughs> you were a little dizzy after that? Yeah, I bet. Good movie? I don't know if I ever saw it. I don't like movies like that. Too realistic, you know? I think like the first Saw movie was about as much as as I'm willing to take. I haven't seen that movie in years. Maybe I wouldn't like it anymore. Some of those movies go way too far. Like, I remember having... I remember watching Hostile, and I just had to shut it off. I'm like, this is... This is just... F f gore fantasy. It's stupid. All right. On that note... Who won this thing, anyway? Arrow, now I'm your winner! Look at this! If you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to like and comment and subscribe and share with all your friends and all you Rough Riders out there. Good racing. Thanks for watching. See you next time. I love you. Goodbye.